Anyway, uh, I take the position the Bible is literally true and scientifically accurate. The earth is not millions of years old, and the evolution theory is one of the dumbest and most dangerous religions in the history of humanity. This is one of the tired claims made by young earth creationists, which never seems to go away. Unfortunately, due to the fact that words often have multiple definitions and usages, some people use this to their own advantage by focusing on some definitions while ignoring others. For the purposes of this video, I shall describe what religion is and then compare it with evolutionary theory to check whether those two things are connected or not. So, at the time of recording this, the global human population is 7.3 billion. More than half of that number identify as Christian or Muslim, and a further billion identify as Hindu. So what do the religions of approximately two-thirds of humanity have in common? Firstly, they believe that one or more gods are real. Secondly, and connected with the first point, they believe that the supernatural is real and that it manifests in reality. Thirdly, they have temples. Fourthly, their followers are encouraged to pray or meditate and worship. Fifthly, they believe that there is an afterlife. At this point, I need to point out that these things are what separate religion from atheism. I also need to point out that millions, if not billions, of the followers of these three main religions accept that the scientific theory of evolution is true which deflates the absurd argument many creationists make that evolution is part of an atheistic agenda. So what is evolution? This next point, I think, cuts to the heart of the absurdity of calling evolution a religion. Evolution is a descriptive explanation of what happens in the natural world. Even if it's partly or wholly wrong, which is a separate argument, all it does is explain how species change over time through the process of natural selection. In other words, unlike the artificial selection of cattle, fruit and dogs, nature is the determining factor when it comes to which individuals and populations survive for long enough to reproduce and which don't. Now religions do more than describe what supposedly happened in the past, they also prescribe how their followers ought to behave, and they claim to know what the source of morality is. Does evolution do this? No. If anyone, such as eugenicists, use evolution as a guide to how we ought to behave, then they are plainly making the mistake of deriving an ought from an is. Just because there is cruelty in nature does not mean we ought to be cruel ourselves. In addition to all of this, I need to point out the fact that evolution is part of science. Young Earth creationists will vehemently argue against this. They claim that evolution is an attempt to explain the natural world without resorting to a supernatural causal agent. Or to phrase it more like they do, they think that evolution is the religion of God-hating heathens. Again, I must remind any young Earthers watching this that millions of your fellow believers fully accept the scientific findings that the Earth is billions of years old, not thousands, and that evolution really happens. So the argument that evolution is a religion only works if you stretch the definition of religion so that it includes virtually everything. The fact that evolution does not require that anyone behaves a certain way, or worships anything, or believes in supernatural causation, or believes that there is an afterlife or gods, is apparently unimportant to people like Kent Hovind. Yet again, we see that certain religionists have a hard time grasping the concept that people exist who are not religious. One last thing before I go. In the comment sections under previous videos I've made, several creationists have made the claim that Kent Hovind understands evolutionary theory better than I do. If that were true, then he wouldn't be making straw man arguments like this. We didn't come from a rock 4.6 billion years ago, and your great 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 uncle is not a chimpanzee. Now, you can believe that if you want, but it's dumb. It's really dumb. At no point does the scientific theory of evolution make the claim 
that chimpanzees are the uncles of humans or that we came from a rock.